So to fish my first Elite Series tournament, what does it mean? It really means, you know, uh, a culmination of a lot of things. If you had asked me, you know, 10 years ago if I'd ever thought I'd have this Elite Series patch on my boat, on my jersey. I would have, you know, told you were crazy. I think I've got a jacket that'll work at my parents' house. This is what we want to do right here. Win, W-I-N, <laughs> baby. Pro tip, when you're leaving, Always pack twice as many pairs of underwear because you never know when you might have an accident. Hooray! Yay! Logan, did you get all his stuff ready? Yeah. Okay. 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 Y
guys break you know what it what they have right now you know <laughs> It's the Jackie Chan. Yeah, the Jackie Chan. The. You know, my actual name is Seguru, but you know, no one can say that. Oh crap moments where something goes wrong and it's like, man, what do I do? It's not a question. I pick my phone up and call Jackie. You guys, break, you know, what it, what they have right now, you know? <laughs> I mean, what are you, what are you guys? I mean, I, mean, I don't even know what that means. I tried to look it up and Minko code didn't even have anything about it. Hey everybody, I'm Cody Huff. Um, this is season number three on the Elites for me. And uh, as you've seen in this video, I got a few new roommates this year. And uh, actually a bunch of guys I used to fish against in college. So I'm 27, I'm from Haven, Missouri. And uh, I just grew up fishing. That's something I don't remember not doing. Lots of fun out here on the road. Hopefully we can uh, have a good year and all four of us make the Classic this year. That's always the goal. And, Maybe some blue trophies will be involved too. Well, it was it was all right. I caught a few bigger ones, but the numbers just wasn't there. The first day of practice of the Elite Series, in my career. See it, all these guys I've seen, like looked up to for so long. Now I'm here and I got to compete. We got to go to the meetings and rig up, get everything dialed in for day one. But right now, just get. I gotta do a few things. Gotta stick some a few more stickers on the wrap. And uh money. Realistically, I'm gonna be pissed if I don't catch at least 18 pounds a day. That I oh, think I, mean, I think we can for sure catch 18 pounds, and then we're gonna need a little luck to get some of those bigger fish to go. How sick is this? Rick Lon. Legend. Been fishing 50 years on the Bassmaster Elite Series. We're definitely going to strap this thing on. It's an honor. Truly. That's pretty awesome, dude. Badass. That's sick. Is it starting to hit you, dude? It doesn't really seem real, but it's uh, pretty crazy. I'd be a more nervous tomorrow, but like. I don't know, not, not crazy nervous. See you at 2.30. Sounds good. Dude, I love your rap. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate so it. so sick. <laughs> you got like, good practice? It's okay. I don't know. It's pretty tough on big stuff. It'll be fun, though, I think. It'll be good. It'll be Western tomorrow if we go. I hope so. Go-to song, driving to the ramp. Has a bad word in the name of it. <laughs> Second favorite song Second going to the ramp. <laughs> We're gonna give John the smoke tomorrow. You are. Yeah. We'll probably be fishing pretty near each other. If we, I'd probably just go up there and just be there. Electronics. He was like, "Would you say you're a scoper?" And I was like, "I'd say I'm a bass fisherman." Is that what he said? Yeah. I was like, "I, I, I like to scope and I like to catch them other ways." Like. I back from the uh, the meeting and uh, I'm just curious as to how it went. It was good until the end, and then it went downhill really quickly. Pretty much, we're we're all waypoint getters and daddy's money. Is yeah. The moral of the story. Just a bunch okay. of guys that don't know how to catch fish or find fish that didn't prove themselves in college and without live scope and make it all the way through the opens. But yeah, we're we're just people who get waypoints. Man, if you're wondering why Logan's uh, brushing his teeth out by the sink. <laughs> hey, El Patio got the best of me. I'm sorry, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> That's one of my worst. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need? Some freaking. What's that stuff you spray in your car that eliminates all other blunt spray? Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> I mean, that's you know what, what it's called. That's literally what it's called. Uh, something osium. Oh. I need some osium spray. What else is down there? I had to shed a layer. I'd had a jacket on before I went in there. Right. <clears throat> Once you take your socks off, I'm <laughs> gonna wipe my sweat on the floor here. 
guys that don't know how to catch fish or find fish that didn't prove themselves in college and without live scope and make it all the way through the open. But yeah, we're, we're just easily get away from it. Fishing our first Bassmaster Elite Series tournament ever, baby. Let's go. Need to catch them. Need to catch a bag for real. I'm gonna go get this heavier weight to start. I'm gonna zero in my first tournament. <laughs> Let's go! Just out there off the timber on nothing. See, like at home for me, it's like a two and three quarter to three pound fish. It's a three fifty five here. Like they're just started weighing them. my whole bait but not my hook that's a big one dude it's a bass need that one Six pounder. Golly, man. Can't catch a break today. That fish literally got hooked and bit again, anyways. And I still lost him. Think I can get him again? <laughs> no way, dude. This is the hungriest fish in the world. It's the same one, bro. Is it? Yes. Please stay on. Please stay on. Come here, big girl. <laughs> Dude, I hooked her three times. She jumped at the trauma and came off of it again. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I went from living wrong to living so right. Oh my goodness. It's not as big as I thought, but I'll take it. That is unbelievable. She started to come up again. After it, I'm like, ain't no way. I'll be doggone. Thank you, Lord. Woo, thank you. I needed that.
<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh. I guess so. Thank you. I saw that sucker and cast it, cast it, cast it, and he like went to the bottom and finally I hit it. Let's go. Oh my gosh, number five. Wow. <laughs> that was a grind. Yeah. I'm throwing a four pounder back. Can you believe that shit? Let's go. Dude, that sucker's so fat. Oh my god. <laughs> of course the small one is like fired oh. up. Video from the hooks in. It's called That might help us a little bit. I think it's another four. Yep. Let's go. Half pound coal. Thank you, Lord. Dude. It was one of those days that looked good on paper, but it was tough, man. Uh, obviously, we had a good day. We're sitting in 14th place, and can't think of a better way to start out the uh, Bassmaster Elite Series than with a 20-pound bag. I mean, that's a, truly a blessing, but golly, it was a grind. I only caught seven fish all day. I culled twice, but they were good ones, the ones we caught, so 
can't complain about that and uh, hope we can keep the momentum going tomorrow and you know ride that train on into Saturday maybe we can get us a camera or something get in that top 10 I know two of the other roommates and Cody Huff and Rob they smashed him Rob's sitting in second place and he's going out with the camera tomorrow Cody's got a camera too I think he's in eighth or seventh or something like that but two top tens in the house it's amazing I had a pretty good day uh, I'm sitting in second place I had 29 pounds and on the first day of my elite series career it was pretty surreal I uh, started off in an area where I caught about 12 or 13 or 14 pounds and it just slowly evolved from there I, every stop I went to I, I would just cull some more and catch bigger ones and started pushing, putting the pieces together <laughs> started putting the pieces together <laughs> I did not mean to say put pussing the piece together wasn't just absolutely perfect by any means I didn't lose any fish didn't really miss any good bites. Um, nothing that, I mean, I, I fished good today. I just did not have those big bites. I caught a few, I caught probably more fish today than I have all week. Just wasn't, didn't have the size. Thing, and then I went out to the main drag and I caught a four and a half and a four and B. Like deep? Like in that channel. How deep are they? Like 25. Hey, what did you throw it? Let's go. Let's go get your bag. Come on, be nice. Spotted bass. You can even stay like out there if you want to be on the other side of the sun, but Y'all go that way. Go that way. Got him. I caught it out from under your motor. <laughs> I'm like, run, run, run. Chunky white bass. <laughs> that sucker been eaten. That's a keeper spot. I think I'm about to get out of here, go somewhere where there's some bigger fish, hopefully. That's a big one, dude. If that's a bass, that's a giant. Please stay on. Need you. Stay on there, big girl. Come here. Come here, baby. Let's go, baby. Woo! Talking about, man. Let me. 
put him in as a four pounder. Yeah, it's small for sure. Number five, we just made 10 grand. <laughs> hey, that's 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's see. Let me get a 10 grand picture right there. There we go. <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Holy Woo! God, man. Let's go. Threw it old Billy Blob over there. She had to come slurp it. That's what I'm talking about, man. Five pounder. Put her in as a five, too. Five. Yeah. An upgrade. Hey, get a picture of that upgrade. <laughs> How about that upgrade? <laughs> That's her. No more spotted bass. <laughs> I fished for that fish for like 20 minutes, dude. Bye bye, Mr. Spotted Bass. Let's go, dude. I literally, I chased that fish forever. Did you see how far I chased that fish? I didn't know you were at the same one, man. I'm gonna go frogging tomorrow. Yeah. Literally. Bull out trying to find some Rob's grass. at least he'll catch a lemon. I went back there where Rob was fishing and I saw like <laughs> 600. Dude, it's insane, ain't it? I'm not gonna start there. But yeah, like if, but if the shit's going bad, yeah, I might run over If shit there. goes bad, you can go there. They did, dude. They wanted me to get just flamed by all the old men that love flipping bushes. What did they do? <laughs> they showed my screen and me reeling one. Dude, it's a <laughs> sick video, but then all the comments are like, just hate speech. <laughs> Watch this though. Hey, man. Went great, bro. Caught 20 pounds again. Sitting in ninth place. We got this FS1 one. One tomorrow live on TV, bro. On TV. I'm fired up. Let's freaking go. Let's go catch a bag again. Day two was a grinder for me. I uh, I started off good, you know, caught like a one almost four pounds just right off the rip, and then. From then on out, I saw no bass. I caught catfish after catfish after catfish and just uh, couldn't get around them. The area that I caught all my weight in yesterday, 
just dried up and I ran uh, ran a lot of stuff that I thought was going to be really good that I couldn't fish because of the wind yesterday and it was just weird it was just uh, it seemed like they were kind of gone from all the places I thought I was going to catch them so tomorrow is just going to be uh, one of those days you know we made the top 50 cut we made some money you can kind of relax and just go fishing so so day two here at Toledo Bend was bad for me uh caught a lot of fish it's not the right size i tried to i filled my limit early and then tried to get a big bite through the rest of the day i just never got that big bite it wasn't a terrible tournament i would love to make the cut but i didn't uh the rest of the house made the cut so it was honestly a great event for the house super pumped for those guys and looking forward to the next one on lake fork next week went pretty good uh weighed in 22 10. um I had, a, I had a slow start to the day. Everything, it took me all day to catch what I had. I uh, landed a few big bites late in the day, which really, which really helped me get to 22 pounds. But it was basically all uh, live scoping bait ball fish and um, just around the creek channels and creek channel swings. It was pretty awesome. Like, I can't think of a better way to catch them right now. Oh, they're so good. Boys, I think I've retired from driving balls to the ball. bags right here. Come on, baby. Oh. Numero uno in the boat, baby. Look at that. How about that one? How about that, dude? Bassmaster Elite Series, baby, day three. Eat it, dude. Come on. Little guy. Little ones are eating it today. I think he'll do it too. Yeah. It's 14. That is a true one pounder. bass it's a spotted bass man <laughs> we need to uh we need to get on up out of here i'm gonna throw them in there we're gonna have to get rid of these guys Get rid of one of them line burners, though. <clears throat> What's up with these spotted bass? I'm afraid, dude. I think they're all on the bank. Still in the ones, though. Get over here to this other zone that I had and see see if they're swimming. And if they aren't, we may make a run across the lake or something. Get rid of one of them line burners, though. It's too late. Yeah, he's definitely. Get rid of. But that one. Put a little real tight. That one is. 
Oh, it's definitely 14, but he weighs the least, I believe. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm gonna throw him back. I had a one that wouldn't have measured until about 30 minutes ago. Dude, I had so many big ass fish, like, nip my shit. I mean, like, I'm not kidding, I definitely looked at 30 pounds. Oh, yeah. Easily. Why wouldn't they buy, dude? Like, this is the first one I caught, and I put it on a coal bag. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, good I think I jinxed myself. <laughs> Obviously, I stubbed my toe a little bit today. Not going to make that top 10, but I made championship Saturday. I'm happy to be here, man. I couldn't be more stoked. God is good. A big deal for me, I was doing a uh, Revo Rocket spinning reel. And those fish are swimming out there fast. It's really hard to hit them. It's not that you're making bad casts, but you need to get your line in, pass out again and again and again, and that rocket was huge for me this week. Big week and a great start to your Elite Series career. Let's hear it. I need you to make a little extra noise for this young angler. Year after year, we have amazing uh, rookie classes that show up here, but very few of them make an impact as quick and as often as he has. final you know last day at Toledo Bend the last day was good I finally I got more bites the third day I, I had to change areas I kind of ran back through uh, some of the stuff I caught them on the first day but it's just like they all went to the bank like no bass were found anywhere uh, but I started getting like more in the creeks and ended up catching a lot more fish but I really only caught one big one I caught like a six and a half that just saved my day uh, got a lot of you know, valuable points on the last day. We were dropped down to 33rd after a rough day two, uh, moved up into the 20s. So every point's valuable. It doesn't seem like you don't think about it, you know, the first term of the year, but by the last one, we're going to be clawing for every last one we can get. So, Logan, how was your final day at Toledo Bend, man? Oh, man. It honestly wasn't the finish, you know, we were looking for. We were sitting in ninth place in good position to uh, ride that through to a top 10 finish and, you know, having a live camera day. And started off, you know, kind of tough. Wasn't seeing a lot of fish where I started and there was a lot of local pressure. And, you know, I was really hoping to just pull up and it go down. And I just was seeing just enough fish to stick around in the area, which I think really hurt me a lot. And then I think right around nine o'clock, I caught a big one. like four and a half pounder so I was fired up you know and I knew that if I could just get five bites in that area that you know I could have another 20 pound bag but it really was not uh was not happening and I just spent way too much time in there spent half my day in there and burned up a lot of time and then I kind of had to scramble around just to catch what I caught and uh it was tough man it was a tough final day or tough I guess it was a tough semi-final Saturday but uh it was truly a blessing just to make you know the cut and be in the top 50 and to finish in 20th place I thought I was gonna fall further but to pull out of there with a top 20 to start the season I mean, we're still very much in the hunt for that rookie of the year angler of the year title we're very much in the hunt for making the classic and just to get that good start is huge for my confidence it's huge for the momentum and we're gonna ride that through this week at fork hopefully get us another championship 
or hopefully get us another semifinal Saturday and championship Sunday this time. I can't believe I said championship Saturday on stage in front of tens of thousands of people it felt like. <laughs> But that was so sick. That was honestly the coolest thing out of the whole deal was going back to the weigh-in and seeing how many people show up for this thing. Justin Hammer said, welcome to the Elite Series, bro. And, like, it was sick because it was a true introduction there at, uh, at uh, Manny, Louisiana, at Toledo Bend, man. There was some incredible.